That's awesome. Keep doing that. I actually. can't hold this forever. <laughs> I'm Leo Miller. I was born on August 5th, 1936. You want that? Sure. Yeah, see? You're only a few days younger than I am. Uh, I was basically raised in Boston. I'm a retired senior chief electrician's mate from the U.S. Navy. Joined the Navy in 1954. I was 17. I served on four aircraft carriers, three minesweepers, two oilers, and a cruiser. I was sailed first with Christopher Columbus. That's, that's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did a three-year hitch, and I was out before I turned 21. I was in the inactive reserves. I still had a reserve status, but I wasn't doing anything. That was for five more years. And that was over with, and a couple of years later, I decided to join the reserves, the drilling reserves. They asked for volunteers to go on minesweepers, so I volunteered. And I did that on three different minesweepers for about eight years. I went back on active duty recruiting at Portsmouth Naval Reserve Center in New Hampshire, actually in Kittery, Maine. I did that for three years. And I said, send me to see on an aircraft carrier. And in two months, I was on the Kennedy. Take command, and may God be with you and your men. It was called Operation El Dorado Canyon. The attack on Libya almost 24 hours ago has left many Libyans dead or injured. Two American Air Force officers and their aircraft still missing. Oh, combat. Oh, my God. Gaddafi told us, don't go come down to the Gulf of Sidra or I'll kill you. Well, we went into the Gulf of Sidra. Three aircraft carriers and all the ships with them. Three of the ships, Ticonderoga, and I can't remember the names of the other two, but I have a T-shirt. We went down below what he called the line of death. and We were down there for three or four days. Now, I never saw combat, but that's the closest I came. We were in combat conditions for them three or four days. But uh, it was a piece of cake. I mean, he just had a big mouth and nothing to back it up with. But I got a T-shirt. It's a picture of Gaddafi laying on his belly and three sailors named after the ships planted an American flagpole in his ass. <laughs> I got the t-shirt somewhere. <laughs> I don't wear it, <laughs> but it's there. Okay, this is Donna, my mother, and I when I graduated from boot camp. If I take the dust off, you'll probably see it better. My mother was a wonderful person. She was, everybody liked her. They called her Grammy great. All the kids in the neighborhood called her Grammy great. I mean, you know, they wanted cookies. They'd go over to her house and visit and all that. So she, everybody loved her, everybody. Just a wonderful woman. What was your father like? I, I know I don't I don't know anything about him at all. No, I have I have some pictures of him. I'll show I'll show you later on. Uh, he was well. He was born before you know in the eighteen hundreds. So he was old fashioned in a way. He was a hard worker. He painted. He was a painter. And uh, I know he was a painter in the Statler Hotel in Boston. But he was good. You know he. He knew his trade, but he didn't have an education. He had, I think, fourth grade. And I thought, you know, when I got to the fifth grade, I was a lot smarter, you know, a grade ahead of him. And I told my mother that, <laughs> and she set me straight. She says, you've got to learn a lot more <laughs> before you're as smart as your father. My father came here from Russia, by the way. That's not a well-known fact, but that's, he immigrated from Russia. So, Imagine what life was like in the 1800s over there, you know, and so you you have to he, you have to you had to do things and learn things on your own. Where now, all you got to do is pick up the phone and Google it. Although I don't know how to do that, but I probably will within the next five or six months. I couldn't text five months ago, so now I can. So I'm learning. Jean is she was wonderful. We were married for 20 years, had two kids, your mother and your uncle. Uh, I got stupid. 
and we got divorced. I, I was on active duty at the time. And uh, I married Carol Wood. Carol and I were married for from 82 to 70, no, 80. <laughs> from 82 to 2017. And she died on Valentine's Day of 2017 which was three days before her 75th birthday. Uh, I invited my son, Rich, down with his girlfriend, and I said, why didn't you bring your mother? Well, Rich got here on August 3rd or 4th, but his mother got here on June 11th. <laughs> and we were just just for a visit. And as we, we had been friends through the years. And uh, we sat here right here, and talked for three days. And we decided that she would live here, or stay. And she was here until August, and she died on the 20th. So, that's my love life. So, we're not gonna talk about my sex life. I think life is pretty good. Uh, basically, I'm Glad to spend time with my grandson and my granddaughter. I don't see enough of you. And my little great-granddaughter, who I can't hear when she talks, but, and Jake is a great guy. I really enjoy this. And I wish I had more company. Any other relatives that see this, get your ass down here. So that's it. Is that good?